Upon first logging into ScreenHub, you'll be greeted by the display page. Here you can get some key information about your sign. The first piece is going to be your default playlist. When you first log in, this is going to be set as Starter. As you create more playlists, you'll have more options for content to put up onto your display. Your default playlist will be on your sign almost the entire time your sign is online. The only time in which it will not is if you use our scheduling feature to schedule an interruption with another playlist. More about that can be found in the scheduling portion of our help section. Just below that you'll have your sign's player ID. Once this is online, a long code of letters and numbers will indicate that the sign has been connected to the website. If this link is edited in any sort of way or deleted, your sign will go offline. Just below that you'll have your sign's resolution, and this gives a good idea of the size of images that are best suited for your display. Going over to settings, you'll have that same information along with some location data for our weather features. Here, it'll have your sign's time zone and the physical address, allowing you to get the most accurate forecast possible. Just below that, we'll have our brightness features. The features shown here represent the ideal brightness setting based off a wide variety of locations. By default, they'll all be at max brightness throughout the day. This is our base setting, and this is our advanced setting. The main difference between the two is that advanced setting allows you to change the brightness by the hour, whereas basic uses the time of day. These both offer different strengths, where advanced allows you to really customize how bright your sign is, allowing you to even turn it off at specific hours of the night. Basic is best if you'd like to set the brightness once and never have to readjust it, meaning that it'll keep track of daylight savings time and lets the days get longer and shorter throughout the year. Pressing save will apply any brightness changes you've made, and you can feel free to toggle between advanced and basic settings to find what really works best for your display. Below settings, you'll have power on panels, power off panels, and reboot display. This is largely for troubleshooting when it comes to issues with your sign. Just above, we'll have the disconnected icon here, which for your display will say connected, and it'll let you know that your sign is connected because the lettering will turn green. You can also give your sign a refresh if you ever find that the content is not updating quickly. This is the display page, and next is going to be the playlist section where you'll generate all the content that will go up onto your sign. For more information about ScreenHub and all of its features, be sure to check out our YouTube channel or the help section of v2.screenhub.com.